Uh, first one is an on the bench type. You'd use this, as, as you see now, you've got a cylinder head on the bench, you need to remove the valve springs. Our valve springs are locked in place with little collets and they're held there with spring pressure. So, this sits over the top. This one. Sits over the top of the valve. Then we can push down on the handle. Locks in place. There's the two locking tabs, or locking collets. Then if we release that back off again, just slowly. And there's a valve spring. And we can remove the valve. So that's what that tool's for. Uh, it's a good tool, it's heavy duty. Easy to use once it's off the bench. However, sometimes you need to remove the valve springs to do, uh, say, valve guides or, sorry, valve stem seals or something like that. You don't really want to pull the head off the car. So this is where this little tool comes in handy. It moves down. And actually, it works like the spring compressor, what I showed you before. You wind the tool on. Replace the valves. Replace the valves? Yeah, do you have happen? Ah, if they're burnt out or something like that, yeah. The valves have come a long way since what cars used to be. A lot better materials, a lot better steels. So there's less, less chance you have Especially the, the valve, valve seats, yeah. But you just wind that in, take the pressure off the valve spring. You can see it's got movement there now. And then that's another design there. Works the same way, just a different, different setup. Yeah. Get to the collets now. So yeah, just same same idea, but that one's off the bench. You have to have the cylinder head off the car to use that one, obviously. But 